a short video here. It's barely related to reloading, but <clears throat> maybe some of you would find it interesting. Uh, when I was building this particular AR, uh, which is a 22 inch, 223 wild, um, I was having a lot of problems with uh, short cycling or weak cycling. And I tried making sure that the whole thing was lubed up and that the uh, gas block was correctly aligned. This particular barrel does have a single dimple underneath uh, the gas port. So I was pretty confident that my gas block was aligned. I had an adjustable gas block, so I went to a fixed gas block and that did not help. I made sure the whole buffer assembly in the back, the receiver extension was well lubed, um, which normally is not necessary, but I was kind of reaching. Um, and pretty much I looked around and around and I couldn't really find anything to help me understand why in the world would this thing be short cycling. It's a rifle length gas system on a 22 inch barrel. So there should have been plenty of dwell time uh, this, if you can see in frame here, this is the gas block. I just moved it out of the way um, from the gas, from the journal, so that you can see what's happening. So, basically, I was looking on a bunch of forums, looking around, trying to find any kind of info. And somebody said, hey, just make sure your gas port is the correct diameter on the, the barrel. So, I thought, what the heck, I'll look. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what the gas port measured out as and I'm just going to use these dinky um, calipers I have here and I'm going to use this end right here so I'm going to get in there get on that gas port so it comes out to about 0 0.092 0 0.092 and I'll tell you what when I bought this so I should be around between 0.8 are 0.088 to about 0.095. When I bought it, it was at 0.082, which is way too small. That's sort of like the mid-length gas position. That might be where you'd see a 0.082. I'm not gonna say exactly. But I knew 0.082 was too small. That was pretty much certain. So I was looking for remedies. Oh my gosh, is my barrel bad? Is Do I just have a bad barrel? Is that just gonna be my life? <laughs> um, found somebody who said, yeah, just drill it out. So I'm gonna try to zoom this out without it being too nauseating. So here we go. Hopefully that's not too bad, guys. So I said about how do I get a uh, large gas port. This is a stainless barrel. It's not uh, nitrided. Basically, the, the short version is I found, I went and started looking, and this is a 3 30 seconds drill bit. It's a 0 0.093 drill bit. And you always want to, if you're gonna measure a drill bit, it's best to go down here on the shank and, and get a good measurement down on the shank. That'll tell you exactly, and don't necessarily believe it's a 3.30 second, because this is like a dollar set from Walmart, right? So it may not be what it says it is, but I have like a 5 64ths and a 7 64ths. Well, right between that is a 6 64ths or a 3.30 second, and it's about what I needed. So I just drilled down in here with it, okay? Now, I didn't just drill this down in there. I put a cleaning rod up in there. So you gotta, I'm gonna pan you over. <laughs> you need to put something down in here to protect that spot. So in my case, I got a long cleaning rod, which I'm frantically looking for. Preparation, preparation. So I've got a cleaning rod here. This is a nylon one. I used a steel one for this because this is my nice one. But just right up into there, real gentle, like so, and make sure that it's in there deep enough so that you're going to go slow when you drill this in. I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate what happened. 
It actually happened over Christmas um, while my parents were over. And my dad was installing some new gadget on his pistol and we decided why not tear apart this AR-15 and do this. But I just used a rigid cordless and I put it on the uh, slow setting, not the fast. I'm not gonna run it because it's so loud on camera. But, you know, I just slowly drilled down in the hole and I used some three-in-one, you know, and I went slow and I checked and I checked and we, you know, I had multiple people looking and eventually we worked our way down inside of that hole until it was all the way through. And uh, we got a little bit of witness mark on a junk cleaning rod. You can also use like a, a wooden, like a, um, oh, what do you do with the grill? The skewers on the grill. You can just put a wooden skewer in there uh, and just go until you start seeing little bits of wood on the drill bit, you know, go just a little bit at a time. It worked really well, guys, and it started to cycle as expected. So it's not the first thing I'd check because there's not really a standard gas port diameter that, um, you know, it's not like, oh, a rifle length gas is 0 0.092 and that's just the standard. No, they all vary up by a, a little, by a few thousands here and there. So, but there's general ranges and you can find those online, uh, general range, even as far as like a pistol length with a 308 bore, you know, there's people measure what they what they buy and they kind of aggregate it together. So if you're having problems with a short stroke, um, usually, honestly, the problem is almost always an alignment issue. And this barrel, I'm lucky to have a dimple underneath it. There actually may be two dimples, um, but I'm fortunate to have this. I don't have to mess with it where I can <clears throat> just get into the dimple and tighten it down real tight. But a lot of people's problem is the journal shoulder back there is designed such that you could put an end cap on, on a handguard. Let me pan you over here a little bit. Come on, please don't be too bad. There she is. It's a long, it's a long one. There's a, there's usually a little bit of space in here for an end cap to go on for like a, a traditional drop in handguard. So you can't just flush, you can't just always expect to be able to flush the gas port up against the shoulder. It'll be too far back and you won't line up properly in the gas block with the gas port. And that'll lead to um, a lack of gas going back into the action and you'll get a, a, short, um, a short stroke. Or you can have issues back here where the key doesn't line up with the tube correctly, or you could just have a very dry bolt group, maybe a brand new group that's really tight in a brand new upper. You know, lubrication is very important in a newer gun, uh, as well as making sure everything's lined up. So if you buy a barrel and doesn't have any dimples underneath it, or even better, have someone with a jig and know-how cross pin this thing to the barrel in the right spot, um, you're going to have to be very careful and, and basically try your best to ensure that you actually are aligned. Um, normally that's the issue, but Hey, if you're putting your rifle together, take a look at what the gas port diameter maybe is supposed to be and just grab your calipers and just see how close you are because I have seen it where it's just not the right diameter. If it's too big, you can get an adjustable block and bring it down but that seems to be a very rare issue. You just say, whoa, why am I so overgassed? Well, if it's too small, your rifle won't cycle and you'll be really uh, upset, I guess, until you figure out how to fix this problem. So, hey, I haven't, made, I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been making a few, but um, I thought I'd just check in with you guys and say, hey, this is what this is. So if you kind of like this sort of thing, I'm not really a gunsmith, but I know some stuff about putting ARs together. I've gotten quite a few put together. Um, I could just make some more videos. I, I try not to post things that aren't reloading on a channel called Reloading Videos. Um, yeah, but I mess with ARs and stuff like that. So, all right, guys. Have a good one.